conference this afternoon. Herman Andaya, the administrator of Maui's Emergency Management Agency, was pressed on his decision to not sound the sirens to warn the Lahaina community about the fire. He said he chose to use alerts by phone and television because the sirens are primarily used for tsunami warnings. And he said he was afraid people would flee for higher ground where the flames were. When asked if he regrets his decision, this is what he said. Do you regret not sounding the sirens? I, I do not. Had we sounded the siren that night, we were afraid that people would have gone Malka. And if that was the case, then they would have gone into the fire. By the way, I should also note that there are no sirens, Malka, or on the mountainside, where the fire was spreading down. So even if we sounded the siren, it would not have saved those people on the, on the mountainside. Andaya's whereabouts the night the blazes broke out have also been unclear until now. HN Investigates reporter Allison Blair covered exclusive details. It's a simple question both state and county officials have been dodging for the past week. Where was Herman and Daya? After a week of being noticeably absent from all press conferences, the head of Maui County's Emergency Management Agency addressed the media for the first time Tuesday. During the question and answer period, he said this brief statement about his whereabouts the night Lahaina burned. I was not there that night. I was in Oahu attending a conference. According to documents obtained by HN Investigates, Ndaya was in Waikiki at the Alohalani Resort attending what was scheduled to be a three day FEMA disaster preparedness seminar called the Pacific Partnership Meeting. A receipt from the hotel shows Ndaya checked in last Monday, a day before the fire started. That same receipt lists a departure date of Wednesday, August 9th, the morning after flames reduced the Heinatown to ash. What we're still trying to confirm is exactly what time Andaya left Oahu and returned to Maui, along with details about how much the administrator knew during the early stages of disaster response. But because each press organization is limited to just one question, we were unable to get those answers. According to the Pacific Partnership agenda, the FEMA conference began Tuesday morning at 7.30 a.m. after fires in Kula and Lahaina sparked. Officials from other counties confirmed the seminar went on as scheduled that day. According to Tuesday's agenda, the day wrapped up with a networking reception at the hotel's Longboard Club from 5 to 7 that evening. The same time people were running for their lives, trying to escape flames that engulf the town. Right now, we're still trying to confirm if Andaya attended the conference alone or if other emergency officials from his office were with him. We're also trying to track down who was there from the state's emergency management office. Last night, I submitted a public information request to FEMA asking for a complete list of attendees. I also sent that same request to Maui County and the state emergency management office. I have yet to get a response from anyone. Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now. Thank you, Allie. Well, on this first day that all motor